Hello there, this is Robert Griffiths at Kind Speckle Marketing and in this quick video I'm going to show you um, a quick and easy way to get local leads um, using a handy little piece of software that I've been using for the past week or two um, with some great results. Uh, it's a great way to kind of get your foot in the door with local businesses um, instead of going and you know, offer marriage on the first date, as the marketing guru guys tend to say. Um, you know that this is kind of: do you want to get a coffee or do you want to get a drink? So, um, check it out. We're going to jump on my computer now, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've just logged into the Mapify 360 dashboard, as you can see here, Mapify 360 um, dashboard. I've had this software for maybe a week or two now. I've not really used it that much, <clears throat> but um, it is absolutely brilliant. Um, Unclean GMB is found. Right. So let's go to videos and help because I'm going to target a new niche today. And I'm actually going to use the one of the bonuses. And here we have it here, top 100 local niches to target. Because at the moment I've actually just been targeting ones that are specific to my um, my business, Ken Speckle Marketing, which focuses on engineering and manufacturing. So I've been targeting um, architects and electricians, electrical engineers, construction type um, <coughs> construction type businesses, etc. So. Let's have a wee look and see what else we can do here. Um, roofing contractors would actually fit into my my um, my target market, but let's have a look. See, um, roofing material dealers as well. Retirement homes. Hmm. Yep. Okay, let's go for that. Retirement homes. So we'll go back to the software and we'll click on Business Finder. And we'll choose here Unclaimed. Enter your niche. Retirement housing. We'll put a space in there. And let's go for <coughs> somewhere in the States. Um, let me think. Wisconsin, okay. Wisconsin Dells, or Wisconsin USA, right? We'll just go for there. Wisconsin USA. So we have these filters here that we can apply. So I'm going to be emailing these companies. So I'm only going to, I'm only going to select leads that have emails. Only leads with websites, no, I'll just leave that. Only leads with no websites, no, only leads with 4.4 uh, or less rating. Um, no, I'll just leave it at that. I'll just go for the um, only leads that have an email address attached to their Google My Business listing. And that's a little bit strange, it's not come back with anything. See you without emails. That might be a problem with this location. Um, Wisconsin Rapids, let's go for that. Only leads with emails. And I can't imagine there'll be many retired people on the Wisconsin Rapids at the moment, but <laughs> there you go. Oh, this that shows it's working, but um, 
you see, the thing is, you have to set this, this software up with a Google API, which I had some trouble with to start with, but um, I got ironed out with the, the helpful guys at the support desk. They, they sorted that out for me, so that was great. And right away, I'm seeing a problem here Riverwood Apartments. Okay, and the email is rentals at capmail dot org and we've got cap rentals this is more like it um we've got c c b housing and a subdomain type thing or a, an internal page on their website it's their link um info at email dot com doesn't sound very promising uh, this one W H W R H A at Wish Rapper. Let's have a look at this website. Don't think this is oh well as yet Wisconsin Rapids Housing Authority. So there we have <coughs> um the website, if you want to call it that, it doesn't look very great, which is another thing that, you know, we, we can use this software to find potential web design clients. Um, but yeah, this is not a great website at all, so hopefully the, the owners of this business know that too. And let's see if their web designer business is still in business <laughs> and they are so okay so at least that's we know that's a real business there and let's go to the next one and we can click here to view more leads um, updates at goodnessproperties.com Let's have a look at their website, and again, it's not great, but it's slightly better than the last one, slightly, and uh, it's not been updated since 2010, this is kind of stuff that I look for when I'm um, researching potential clients, one of the first things I look at is the, the um, footer, and I'll check um, who designed their website, if that company is still in business, etc because if the company is not in business anymore then you're going to have the the customer the potential customer here is going to have problems with updating their website so that's a good um, indication of someone that is definitely going to need your uh, help and this website's not been updated for about nine years so and that's definitely a, a good i'll just close this one out in fact we'll just have a quick look and I've not looked at this one yet, so um, weddings would be a good one. Corporate gift baskets, dental laboratories, um, some schools, ballrooms. I'm not sure about that. Video games. You think they would be on top of their online presence, being uh, being in the computer space. Cosmetic store, um, reconstructed pediatric surgeries, so any surgeon would be a good idea, roofers, bookkeeping, um, yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these are quite obvious, but there's some, some uh, random ones like mag mammography, 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 clinics, um, nutrition, Cremation urns, anything to do with um, death and stuff is always a good market to get into because I don't think a lot of people think about that, although it is, um, it is the only certain thing in life is death, as they say. So, <clears throat> yeah, going back to our uh, retirement housing example here. Uh, we'll have another look at this website here, 
and what I generally do is try and no, it's not a bad website, I don't think. I've got a little video in the little video in the header there, etc. It's up to date. Um no link to who designed the website, but that doesn't matter. So but this um uh, modern woodman fraternal financial um don't think this is a retirement home, so that's that's a bit rubbish. Uh, let's go back to here. Um, do, 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 do. Let's look at this website. Do, do, do. Well, this doesn't look like a retirement home either. But, you know what, just for example's sake, we will just take all of these leads, select all, even the one that's got info at email.com, won't matter. That email will just bounce, I would imagine. So we'll take all of those all of these results here and we'll add them to a selected campaign as you, as you can see here the last one I used was construction one so we're going to create a new campaign and we'll call it retirement homes one okay because I think I will actually target retirement homes in the UK um, I think that's probably a good niche to target I think they might be quite responsive and um, what their Google Maps up and running. So there we go, we've just added that to that campaign there. So we'll go for another one, let's do Ellie. Okay, search again. <clears throat> Give the software a little minute to and find some retirement housing in LA for us that I haven't got a Google My Business listing verified and what we'll do is we'll get maybe about 30 or 50 um, leads saved in our campaign yeah some of them will be dud like the info at email.com but uh, essentially we're going to send an email out to all these guys. I mean, look at this. Um, that's a, an encrypted email address, and I don't think that's a website at all. Well, let's get some more leads. I think I'll just delete that one. Oh, I can't do that just now, but. We'll do that once we export the export the leads to the CSV file, and then what we're going to do is mass email with an email template and blast it out to maybe 50, 50 uh, retirement homes in the Americas. Mm -mm. This one, I imagine that's their door number or something maybe. Let's have a wee look at the website. Just get rid of that one. Luxury Senior Living in Los Angeles by Fountain View at Gonda. Okay. The website looks alright, but that doesn't stop us contacting them. Uh, it's up to date and... And uh, yeah, it seems to be not a bad website, but here we go. Um, so we'll only have two there, and I reckon this one's dud. This, these details are not correct. But bugger it, we'll just email them anyway. So deselect and select all. Add to that campaign. Okay, right. Um, let's just 
try doing Los Angeles. See if that works. No, I don't think so. I think you have to click on this. Um, let's see New York. Look for New York, USA. Click search again. Um, hopefully this will come up with some more listings for us. <clears throat> One. And it seems to be they have a, a good email address. It's probably the best one we've seen yet. And coopersquare.org. Cooper Square Housing. It's the same thing. Ew. It's again, it's a crappy, crappy website. It's ancient. I don't, you'd be surprised if that was updated in the last 10 years. Um, it doesn't actually give us a date there. It's 2015. It's just a blog, I think, basically. Uh, 2019, so that's re reasonably recent, they've updated that there, so uh, that shows that they're still active on their website, they just maybe don't know how to go about doing anything about it, so that's why we're contacting them, just to try and help them out. So let's take this one up. Oh. Select all, select all, add them um, to retirement homes one campaign. So, boom, 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 boom. let's go Detroit. Um, I think the problem here is most of the retirement homes in America have claimed their Google My Business listing. Um, so perhaps. Not a good niche to choose for this educational video. Right, let's try Asheville. I'm just going to work my way through the alphabet and try and get up to between 30 and 50 leads here that we can target. So hang around and I'll show you my little system for mass emailing all these leads. And I may even provide you with a little template that you can use to do yourself. Um, if you have another way of <coughs> scraping the internet for, for leads, um, for unclaimed Google Maps listings, then that's great. I'll show you how I'm doing it, and I might even provide you with email templates because the the developers of this software didn't say I can or cannot share it so I don't see the problem with giving you a couple of little emails that you can probably write yourself anyway but uh, I've got John Smith at a domain name so a lot of these emails are just going to be junk these email addresses info at lifestylehomes.net that one is legitimate and we'll just check um, check their check their website out. And it's a little bit slow to load, but it is loading and it looks not too bad. Seen a lot worse, and it's up to date twenty nineteen down there. Um, so. <coughs> We'll just deselect all, select all, add these leads to an existing campaign. There we go. And let's go uh, Albuquerque, where Mr. White's from. If any of you guys have seen Breaking Bad, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you've not seen Breaking Bad, stop the video right now because I don't want to know you. Cause, uh, Breaking Bad is the best thing that's ever been on telly, ever. Um, if you've not seen that, then I suggest you go and check it out right now. 
you will thank me for it. So let's have a little look, see here, and oh, while we're waiting on that loading up, we'll just check these two websites out. And there and there. Not bad for donations, Volunteers of America. Blah, de blah, de blah. <coughs> Excuse me. Albuquerque. Salvation Army. Um, let's just. Um, Let's just search for some more here. I'm not going to. I'll probably shoot myself in the foot by saying this, but I reckon that um, in the UK, Scotland in particular, I'll have more success with this. I'll have more success with this um, search and adding adding uh, leads because I don't seem to be finding how uh, I don't seem to be having much luck with this American one um, and Jim at the French companies. Hmm. Seems a bit strange. Ah, we'll just persevere anyway and just go through this for demonstration purposes. French companies partnering with building communities. Da, 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 da. Right, so. Just add uh, deselect, select all. It's a little bug in the software if you haven't noticed that already. You have to, even though nothing's selected, you have to deselect all, then select them. And I'm just thinking of changing a word in here from retirement housing to retirement home. Let's see if that brings up any different, different results here. Yep, doesn't bring any. <laughs> so, there's one. And it uh, seems to be like a good listing as well. But it didn't show up with retirement housing, so. Oh my goodness, their website is garbage. Copyright 2009 2015. Dear me. Right, so let's have a look at here. Go in Glenn Staffing. Um, Glenn Taff Assisted Living. Right, so let's uh, deselect, deselect all, add them to the campaign, let's go for it. Um, let's go back to Los Angeles because I was a little bit disappointed in the size of LA. And I've only got two or three leads from it I think so we'll try that again Highland Park Skilled Nursing and Wellness Centre so you look at that and then we'll get this loading up as well get some more leads here uh, do -do -do. Uh, Highland Park Skilled Nursing and Wellness Centre Website looks all right, but I wouldn't have all these <laughs> links in the footer like that. It looks pretty rubbish. It's not been updated for over a year, from last year anyway. Let's have a look. 
Let's see what else we've got. View part and our website is a little bit confused, I think, there with all that. And the sub pages and what have you. So that's something that they would definitely benefit from is making their, their Google My Business listing a little bit more clear and concise. Let's have a look at Beverly Hills Loving Care. This should be a good one. Oh my god, it's not. It's uh, pretty garbage. 2013. It's not been updated for six years, so that's something that they could possibly need. But the whole point of using this software is um for the softly softly approach. So you can you could actually contact these businesses and offer to do their Google My Business listing to claim it so that this is unclaimed at the moment so we can go and email them and say look you know we'll we'll claim your um we'll claim your your um your Google My Business listing for you for free and I can't remember if I added those ones to my campaign Let's check that out. I think I think I did. I'm going for retirement homes. We've got 25 leads so far there. So and what was it? That one Highland Park. Have we got a Highland Park? Don't think this is alphabetical. It's not. Let's look for Highland Park skilled nursing and wellness. And we've got their email address there. Etc. Etc. So we've got twenty five leads. About ten of them's probably a dud. But um, let's just persevere here and go for New New York, New Jersey, New York, New Jersey. Let's have a look there. <coughs> uh, Unclaimed Forest Hill Healthcare. And just have a wee look at their website while we're waiting on that loading. And the, the kind of rule of thumb is, if they've not if they've not claimed their their Google My Business listing, then their website isn't going to be very good or up to date because they don't they won't seem to be abreast of digital marketing digital mar marketing services so that's where we go in and we would actually offer to claim their, their Google My Business listing for free and then on the back of that we can offer digital marketing services or we can offer to get them in the, the map three pack at the top of Google Maps or the Google My Business listing for their local area which I mean for a retirement home their cost per customer or or um, profit per customer even is absolutely through the roof I would imagine so let's go for New York again with retirement home so, that, I mean, they've definitely got the money to pay for these services and they definitely need these services and they'll definitely benefit from these services. So, it's a win-win-win situation. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think we'll try New York and maybe another couple after that and then we'll call it a day with the searching. Nursing, let's have a quick look at their website. Elite Nursing NY dot com. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Not too bad. I bet it's a WordPress website. In fact, I bet my life on it, I think. 
the source um, Uh, we can see here WP content themes bridge. I was right, I can survive, I can live another day. Boop, boop. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. Let's get some more leads. This email is username at example.com, which is pretty crap. So, with regards to this, I mean, that. When I've got time, I go through and I would actually go to I would actually go to um, Better Retirement Plan Solutions. I would actually go to their website and if they don't have, because their, their Google My Business listing is unclaimed, um, I think Google just you know, adds a business, but just kind of randomly adds email addresses if they don't have one anywhere to be found online. And you can see here, that was uh, quick and easy to find. So you would just go in here and edit um, this one. So let's just do that now. I'll show you how we would do that. Uh, let's see, um, C Interactive LLC, which has got a duff a Duff uh, email address, so um, same with this one here. I mean, I don't have time to do that just now, but this is how I would do it. Add leads to select the campaign, retirement homes one, add that to the campaign, and we go back to the campaign and we look for CMC. Um, and see interactive and if we go there I can actually edit from here and you can see there the email is incorrect so we just go in and actually add that email address the correct email address in there and that way it's going to actually get to the business and now we've got 31 leads on our on our spreadsheet so we can just go ahead here and select all and we'll go over to here and do actions and we can export to CSV file okay and we are going to don't need that anymore and we're going to go to here so it's not live live chat is open and the csv file went to downloads if we just open that <coughs> as you can see here we have all the 31 leads there Oh, this transfer back to my desktop. That works. Huh? File. Export to. CSV, quick table names, next, and send it to my desktop. And you can see that's popped up there, so there we go. Now, <coughs> what we need to do now is go over to Google Docs. Um, Google Drive it's called nowadays Robbie's stuck in the past Google Docs and what we'll do is add new file upload and do 
that one there. Town Homes 1 CSV. <clears throat> and once we get that uploaded to there, we want to transfer it to Google Sheets. And I'll show you why in a minute. If we go over to Google Sheets, then that's everything there. And everything there that we need is the email addresses. Oops. And like I said, there's some, some of these, probably about five or six of these emails will actually get through, but um, you can see why I'm doing that in a minute. We'll go to connect. Google Sheets and select the spreadsheet and you can see there we have um, Google Spreadsheets with the 31 leads that we've just collected there and that's in there so connect to spreadsheet <clears throat> and this software that I'm using here is GMAS Google Mass uh, GMAS Google something or other so what I usually do here is add my own email address in there so I can check the emails coming through okay and it's looking fine etc etc and this is the, um, the Google add-on that I have with Google Chrome is GMAS Mail Merge. So you're going to need that along with um, your own software, etc. And I'm going to have to reconnect with that, reconnect with that um, spreadsheet. So there's all the recipients. And the email is coming from hello at kenspeckle.marketing. So now we need our handy little um, email templates that we can blast out. Um, where have I put it now? PDFs, it's in here somewhere. Done for your email sequence. Here we go. And this is from the guys at Marketify 360. They give you a load of pre written emails that they say is guaranteed to get you some customers. Um, <clears throat> so it's just a case of copying this. There. Okay, and put it in there. Whoa. Paste and oh, why it's why it's went in there with that crappy text, but I like um, the veranda text and. Um, I'm not going to say they can call me because it's a UK number and they're in America. So you can re you can reach me by replying to this email, which I'll underline. And then I'll just put my name and Ken dot marketing and put a little link up and a little link to the website there that's it so there we go your google is unclaimed Just put a 
attention ETTN oh. ETTN attention your Google listing is unclaimed exclamation back um, so we've got here you are. I've decided to get in touch with you after I run some tests involving local businesses in your area um, involving um, nursing homes do they call it nursing homes in America? I don't know Let's check uh, retirement homes, nursing home. Maybe that was a better thing to search for. Hmm. Retirement home or nursing home? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be coming up with anything there. So involving. Retirement homes in your area. Your business stood out from the rest, but not in a good way. Let's underline that. I don't want to waste too much of your time, so I won't dive into specifics too much. Just know that your business is among, among the last few local businesses in your area without a claimed associated GMB listing. We won't know what a GMB listing is, so we will say Google my business listing without a claimed. Yeah, I'll highlight that. And this is very unfortunate because Google my business is already helping dozens of other local businesses in your area to get more clients. get more clients and I can vouch for that <coughs> as I'm per <coughs> excuse me as I personally help some of them to claim and optimize their GMB listing I'm happy to explain the GMB optimization principles if you're interested in fact I'm willing to bet that I'm able to take your business to the next growth threshold take your business to the next growth threshold Um, as w uh, 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 using a well-established Google My Business listing. I'll just add that in there again, just to reiterate the fact. If you decide to recover the gap, recover the gap, underline, between your business and the competition, get in touch with me and we can schedule a meeting at the earliest convenience you can reach me by replying to this email look forward to hearing back from you Robert Griffiths Ken Speckle Marketing Okay, that's good, so we'll just go for that and send that off. Boom. Um, oops, I just click that. GMAS, waiting for GMAS. So that is just sending this email, this quick and easy email that I've wrote here. Um, off to these 30, 30 businesses. And hopefully, one of them will reply. One or two even. Out of, I mean, that was... Uh, 18, 19, 20, uh, say 30, 
Thirty foot. Thirty nursing homes or care homes I've uh, contacted, and look here, there's <coughs> nursing home seems to have come up with better results for New York. Um, elite nursing NY. I think we've already been on this one. Perhaps just uh, yeah, well, so it's not better, not much better. It's Is this the same company? Anyway, you get the idea, so just over the course of this video we've found 30 odd leads that we could possibly do better than that, you know, um, put in the right email addresses etc and oh my god look at this website, see a lot of websites like this and you're in desperate desperate need of an update. So what we do is contact them and say, look, your Google My Business listing's not up to date. Um, we can take care of that for you. And then hopefully, eventually, you know, maybe after a couple of weeks or a couple of months, they'll say, oh, well, this guy's really good at what he does. He's, uh, he does everything he says he's going to do. He's got our Google My Business listing and it's up there on page one of Google. But now the thing is, People are actually going to our old crappy website, so I might get this guy to update my website, which you can charge one thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand pounds, dollars, whatever you want, whatever it is you charge for your uh, web design skills and techniques, then you can go ahead and charge these companies. Check out Map Five Three Sixty. Um, from the link in the description and I'll possibly be able to get you a discount. Thanks for sticking around and watching this video. I know I kind of babbled on a little bit, but thanks for sticking around. This is Robbie Griffiths from Ken Speckle Marketing. And if you want more videos like this, just uh, put a comment in the comments box or um, hit like and subscribe and don't forget to click the little bell button and we'll get more videos out like this soon. Cheers, thanks for watching. Make marketing yours. Thanks.